going on guys? Major League Fishing Pro and Tackle Direct Pro Staffer Adrian Avina and here I want to talk about forward facing sonar. If you follow bass fishing, if you follow tournament fishing, or if you're just a weekend guy, you probably heard about forward facing sonar and how much of a game changer it is. Me personally, I use Lawrence Active Target, been using it now ever since it came out and I've won a ton of money by using it. And it's not one of them things you just throw it on your boat and you just go ahead and you just catch a bunch of fish. It's a tool just like anything else. Just like my power poles, just like my Suzuki motor, uh, just like all these rods and reels I have on the deck. But I want to get ahead and I want to go over three techniques that I personally tend to use more than any others. Um, and the first one is probably going to be my favorite and this here is a jerk bait. The good thing about a jerk bait is it comes in various depths. This here is just the Stunner 112. We have the 112 Plus. There's hundreds and hundreds of other jerk baits out in the market. And when you're panning around and you see them bass, you can get this bait just above them, which seems like is a big key whenever it comes down to using the forward facing sonar. Another really good bait that just simply just catches a lot of fish is a single paddle tail swim bait. This here is a Berkeley Power Swimmer. Got it on my brand new signature series rod, which I'm pretty hype about. Uh, but again, it's another way to really be able to pan around. You can get this to them and keep it above them. You're going to see me talking about keeping it above them because that's a big key when it comes down to catching a lot of these fish with the, with the forward-facing sonar. The third one, just like anything else, it's a reaction bite. I use a heavy drop shot weight, and a drop shot's a bait that I use and I, and I catch them. I don't care if I'm smallmouth fishing, if I'm spot fishing down south, or if I'm catching a big largemouth. Right now we're actually on a blue hole right here in southern New Jersey. And you can see right up here in front of me, I got a little brush top. You can see part of it exposed out of the water. I'm going to have you come up here. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like on the graph. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pan over there. And if you look right here, that right there is the brush pile. And I'm going to pitch this drop shot over to it. And you're going to watch it go down. Just went right down there in the middle. You can see a bunch of other fish in there. But this necessarily isn't a tool to simply just catch a bunch of fish. It can be, but it more so just keeps you in that productive water. It's a great asset to a bass boat. If you guys are in the market, check it out.